we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, if you already have a notebook that has Bluetooth enabled, you don't need to even watch this uh, vid part of the video. It, we're going to talk about adding Bluetooth to a desktop PC that's maybe an older PC you don't have it, or even an older laptop that doesn't have it. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is a Bluetooth adapter. This is a Bluetooth adapter, or dongle, they call it. Uh, this one's made by Azus. It's a fairly old one. This is Bluetooth 2.1, so it's a, there's new 4.0s out. You have to be careful which one you uh, get. Make sure it's compatible with Windows 8. This one I know I've already installed and uninstalled it, so I know it's compatible. Uh, it's a BT211 or something like that, so I would uh, go out and take a look for that. They're relatively cheap. You can find them for $14, you know, $5, whatever. You can uh, uh, find out where to go. To install it, all you normally have to do is plug it into your computer. For example, so you'll see that uh, Windows just starts installing the drivers. So if we go over to the desktop, you'll see that there's drivers being installed there in the lower left-hand corner. And there's already a Bluetooth icon here on the right, so it's already doing the install that we need to have to get the drivers going. So now that you've installed the uh, drivers and everything, you only want to talk to your phone. So let's go ahead and go to the phone first. And we'll go ahead and open this up. We'll go over to settings. And we're going to turn on the Bluetooth uh, section here. What's important about this is it has to be on the screen because it says right here it's on the screen it will be detectable. So let's go to let's go ahead and go to settings here. This is a one way you can do this. Change PC settings and you go here to devices and you click on add a device and it's still searching for devices. No matter what kind it used to be you had a Bluetooth screen. Look at that. It found the phone. I click on O Guy Geek's phone. It says okay, it's connecting. And now it says, or do you want to do that? So it has a PIN number for that. And you say yes. And you say OK. So now this phone is now uh, being added to the list of devices on Windows 8. And as soon as it installs the drivers that uh, allow to talk to the Bluetooth with that and everything, it'll finish doing that. So there it is installed. So what does that mean? Well, if you look over here on the desktop, you'll see that it's not there. But if we try to start typing in OL, and sure enough, there's Old Guy Geek Phone. So I'm going to pin it to my start menu first, and that's because I want to be able to use it later on. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to go back to the hit escape. Uh, we're going to get out of that for a second. We're going to come back over here, and you'll see that there's a old guy geek phone. So I'm going to move it over here next to the Windows phone, which is the one for the USB cable. If you have a USB cable, it connects up and automatically synchronizes. It brings up that really nice application for transferring files. And that's another different video that we have. But if you do old guy geek phone, you click on it, it'll bring up the, the, the device, Bluetooth device control. And right now it's already connected up because of a prior setting that we did, but you'll see that it'll say disconnect or disconnect here. Right now, it's if you get a if I get a call on this on the the uh, phone, it'll come in as a speakerphone on your speakers for your computer. Okay, so it's headset and speakerphone. So let's say you're working on your computer and you're busy doing something, and your phone's sitting next to it. Rather, it, all of a sudden, it'll interrupt whatever you're doing on your computer, and it'll start talking. Just like if you're driving your car, it'll interrupt your radio. So this is no different. It'll come in and you'll be able to talk on the speakerphone and and. Uh, microphone that you have attached to your computer if you have a, a mic attached. Right now I'm working off of a headset, that's why it shows the headset here. Uh, actually the headset's for music. This little uh, is like an earbud, if you have an earbud uh, in place. So this is, the point of it is that if that's connected up to your computer as a device, it'll use that. Or if you have a desktop microphone and of course your speaker system, you'll be able to talk, you know, you'll be able to get a call through that. Uh, music and audio, same thing. You can sit there and control uh, music and audio. As a matter of fact, if you look down here, here is the remote control for Old Guy. If I launch this, there's a remote control, and it'll play files off my phone that go to my, that I can play them directly on my computer speakers. But we're gonna we're not gonna do that right now. What we really want to talk about is the file transfer. So we want to send files to the phone. It says here. So if I want to browse for some files, okay, I'm gonna go to the pictures directory and I have some stuff here uh, this is one for how to uh, work on IE 10 so let's say I want to I want to send that to my phone and there I've done I've set that so let's go let's 
activate the phone again so we can watch what happens here. Okay, so I'm sitting here and I'm going to get off the Bluetooth screen for right now because we've already synchronized that. I'm back to the main main menu. If I say send, it attempts to send. And you notice the phone says, hey, this computer is trying to share, so I'm going to accept that. And there it is. It's sending the item here, and it's sharing it here. It says, okay, got it. If I tap on that, tap to view, there's the, fo there's the photo I sent. In this case, it's a screenshot, and it's, it's done. So that allows me to send to receive files from the computer to the phone. If I come back here and I go to photos, and I go to this camera roll here, and I'm going to go to the camera roll. And this is the event we went to that's uh, pre-Rose Bowl. It's event quest or equestrian uh, event. So we're going to grab a picture from there. Okay, I'm going to click on that picture. I'm going to hit the three dots down here at the bottom and say share. And I want to share this via Bluetooth to this computer, and it's going to go ahead and send it. And if you notice, it says Bluetooth connection successful, and it's going to send it because there's a PIM, that's Personal Information Manager. You remember that from the old PIM days? Uh, that uh, like the bold palms and things like that allows you to connect up uh, events and stuff. If you click on the icon down here. Well, I missed it, but the point of it is, is that it's sharing 83% and 90%, 92%, and it's done. Now, if I sit there, click here to open the folder, they really mean down here. There's the file I just transferred. Uh, it's the file that I just transferred from my phone to my uh, computer. So we have two different things. We have files going from the computer to the phone and now from the phone back to the computer. So if you don't have, don't want to use a USB cable, if you just want to come back to the house after we're taking some pictures somewhere, you can go there and do that. Uh, one more thing I want to talk about photos, if I go back to the camera roll again and I go here and I push this button here, you'll see they're all highlighted and I can click, 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 click those four. I hit this send icon over here I want to go to Bluetooth, I want to go to this computer, and it starts sending all four of those pictures. So you can send more than one at a time. And you'll see them start to roll in here as we're talking. So let's say you have the wireless charger that we have in a different video, and you, now you have a way to transfer via Bluetooth. You're pretty much set. You never have to physically connect your phone up to your computer to uh, transfer files or to charge it. You're, you're independent enough to worry about the making that connection to your to your phone. By the way, this works for music files, it works for any files that you might have that you want to transfer. And there's the completion notice that four files were done.